Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Shavante here. I have another really dope resin tutorial for you guys. This one we're going to be using my Queen of Hearts keychain mold and I'm super excited to show you this tutorial in particular because I'm going to show you how to instantly secure your key rings onto the back so no wait moving forward. All right, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get started. Alright, so to go ahead and get started, we're just going to go ahead and prep our mold here. Um, to first begin, we're going to take this chameleon powder. I'm using a regular paintbrush. I'm just going to brush this chameleon part powder all through my mold and I want to make sure I don't leave any surface like untouched so you want a nice even layer uh, with this chameleon powder and everything so get into those corners and dust off any excess so that way it's not just kind of floating around or creating any bubbles make sure you do close that so that way it doesn't blow away or anything like that all right, so next we're going to go ahead and prep our resin. Um, I'm going to start with 10 milliliters of resin here. Oh, I'm sorry, 20 milliliters of resin. And I'm going to actually color it the color black. And you're just going to mix it up really, really well and make sure that it's nice and opaque. And this is just going to make sure that we can't see through and it adds a nice base to this chameleon powder because I really want the chameleon powder to be the start of the show. So go ahead and fill that mold. It took pretty much all 20 milliliters of resin. So this is a really small keychain and you know you can use minimal resin to make it. Now you just want to go ahead and let this cure. Once it's had a chance to cure, you're going to go ahead and wiggle this from your molds. Remember to um, bend the mold and not the actual resin. And now we're just going to go ahead and paint. Now, I actually ended up changing my mind from this color. I was going to use a gold, um, but I didn't like how the metallic looked on the chrome. It was just too much. Um, you couldn't really catch the gold color and everything. So what I did was I went ahead and wiped it off and then we're going to just kind of take a black acrylic paint and this um, golden glitter acrylic paint that I have here. I'm going to mix it together um, with just a tiny bit of that glitter paint just so I can kind of get a bit of sparkle within that black um, acrylic paint. Um, it's not going to be super sparkly the way the gold was but it's still got to add a little bit of shimmer when you're getting close and just kind of add a little bit of pizzazz and make it a little bit more interesting but you're going to take that paintbrush and you're just going to paint directly into the etchings you really want to make sure you push the acrylic paint into the etchings so that way it actually holds and there aren't any bubbles forming underneath that paint or anything like that so just go ahead and create a nice smooth surface on here it's okay if it gets onto the smooth parts that um, don't have etchings because it does wipe off easy and I will be showing you that in the very next step just let this paint dry Once your paint is dry, you can go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol onto the piece on where the paint is. And then you can just take a damp rag, um, one that's not super wet. You don't want to leave a trail of moisture or anything like that. And you're just going to wipe at those smooth parts, making sure to remove any excess paint that isn't inside of the etchings. Now do be mindful of the larger spaces that do have etchings because if you do rub too hard in those um, parts, um, it does pick up some of the paint. So, you know, just be mindful of that because you will have to paint back over it just to kind of make sure that it's not all splotchy or anything like that. So I hope that makes sense. But yeah, just go ahead and keep cleaning this up. And yeah, and I'll catch you after we finish with this part.
all right so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to take some resin that i have here prepped for another project because it doesn't take a lot to do a doming layer for this um i'm going to just take the resin i'm going to concentrate it in the center and then i use my stick to kind of round it out and um, push it towards the edges and everything and i add more resin as needed from the cup i just kind of dip my stick back into the cup and allow the drops to um, fall back onto the keychain piece and everything and i just keep doing this and continuing on until the resin stays put and it's completely covering um the entire top surface and then of course um once i finish like you know getting it completely covered i'm going to to allow this to completely cure so that way it remains scratch free and shiny. All right, so now it's time for the fun part that I promised you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to instantly secure your key rings and the bales onto your keychain resin pieces. So what you're going to do first is just kind of take your glue on bale here. I attached it to an alligator clamp just to have a little bit more control. And I added a drop of glue onto the back of my keychain. Place the bale directly on top and then just take that baking soda and place it directly on top of everything. You'll be able to instantly move that alligator clip and then dust off the remaining bits of that um, baking soda and everything. And then the keychain is completely secure. You can wiggle it, you can move it around, it is not going to move. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and take my jump ring and my key ring and add those onto the bail so that way I can go ahead and turn it into a keychain and ta-da this right here is our final project I am so in love with this keychain like I love this mold I love the little queen where her afro puffs here the queen of hearts and you know I'm always about the whole representation matters over here so that's the vibe I'm really trying to give through my shop but yeah, you can see how well the etchings pick up, that paint, your piece is going to be super, super clear. I love how this chameleon powder really shifts in the light. It goes from that green to that purple color and it's just so fetch. And yeah, like this is just like kind of a little spin action right here. This is what the back looks like. Now, of course, if you want, you can sand this down just to make it a little bit more um, appealing to the eye. Um, or you can go through with a little bit of UV resin just to further secure that um, just so that way it doesn't look so textured over there on the keychain. But if you guys really liked this tutorial and this was really helpful for you guys, make sure you leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, leave that below for me too. I absolutely love hearing from you all. And until next time, hippies, mwah, XO. Bye now.